still checking in the place, still cold. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my niggas that shiver. Thinking about sound late thoughts on the river. Money. All right, guys, down to business now. We are at Davy Gym Zurich. My name, Mark Loturza, and now we're gonna smash the legs. Let's get those quads bigger. All right, so first of all, I wanna show you my pre-workout. So here, I have a mix of amino acids, BCA, crucial pre-workout, guys. Then um, I have um, some caffeine in it, but not too much. Then beta-alanine uh, is in it some arginine um, so this is basically what I take pre-workout and of course since I am now vegan and skipping the meat I'm taking creatine to replace the creatine that is missing from not taking red meat especially so here I want to state that this is not vegan so this creatine is not vegan but I'm trying to find a source now for a vegan creatine I've researched on it there is vegan creatine out there so uh, here I still make a, a little exception but I'm fine with that so all right so today for legs we're gonna overload a bit the quads so we start with um, the barbell back squat there show you special technique to really get some more tension in it then we do the leg press so I will also then during the workout explain you why you should do the back squat and the leg press they are different they target some of the same muscles but they have a different function then uh, we move on with uh, uh, stiff leg deadlifts then we do some uh, leg extensions and um, some step ups then we'll do the calves you will see everything when we get down to legs now all right let's rock it I'm ready so I'm taking now my pre-workout to get ready and kick it in all right guys we start off with legs now first we do the leg extension this is like the activator exercise for the quads so I use this exercise to warm up um, my quads before I go to the barbell back squat and to the leg press so the goal of this workout is to overload the quads so we'll be working very hard on the quads and basically this is a volume workout so I'm really causing the body like I'm stressing the body a lot in this workout to see if it's really true that on the vegan diet I recover better and I get or it takes much more until I get sore basically it should be like this because the body has much less acid so it should take longer until I get sore that's why I go a high volume this is definitely not something you can do on a weekly basis just like it's like an intensity workout that we're doing today and definitely not for a beginner right so we start off here So here for the leg extension, for people that have knee issue, skip, those, skip that exercise because it's not the healthiest exercise for your knees. So just make it if you have a healthy knee. And also important here, flex the feet in order to have the maximum recruitment of the quads. Okay? All right. We've been all on that rap shit like the audience still clap shit, my nigga. All right, we do it with these plates. We do the squats with elevated heels. So let me place that now. Okay. Like shoulder width apart, like this. Reason why we do it like this, we want to overload the quads today. So if you have elevated heels, you have more recruitment of the quads. That's why I do it with elevated heels. We've been all on that rap shit Aye. like the audience still clap shit, my nigga. Yeah. 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 That bitch, she an island girl. Hey. Great head out of this world. We ball. So, guys, you know, I have big legs here, but I don't train them so heavy. Reason why? Symmetry and aesthetics. I'm 
let's say I'm a, a bodybuilding athlete, a cover model, where symmetry and aesthetics is very important. So my legs, since, ever since, have more growth potential. That's why they tend to grow very, very quickly. And that's why I don't train them so heavy. If I would, my body would lose symmetry. I would get huge quads and my upper body would be smaller than my legs. That's why I do them with a good amount of weight, but not too much. All right, so for you, you can choose what you want. If you see that, you know, your upper body is smaller than your legs, yeah, then I would suggest you to train them heavy and intense, but with proper technique and form. The other way around, do it like I do that. All right. Like I said in the introduction, this is a volume workout. So I try to keep up with the same intensity throughout the whole workout. That's why I stay be, you know, careful with the weight now in order that I can keep the pace from the beginning till the end of the workout. Imagine if I got, go really heavy now, what happens is you start at this level and you have this drop. So, and I don't want that. I want to keep up the same intensity throughout the whole workout. All right. We've been all on that rap shit, like the audience still clap shit, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That bitch, she an island girl. Hey. Gray head out of this world. Unite. We ball a girl to pearl. Hey. Break a dawn that we had no TA. There's just one exemption to not doing a full squat as to the grass. If you have knee issues, you need to figure out at what part of the motion you start having the knee pain. Only go as deep as to that point until you feel the knee pain. And do the squat like this or skip squats at all if you have knee issues. All right, so many tips here, all for free on my YouTube. Subscribe now to see more of that. We are at the leg press, Cybex, uh, Cybex leg press. So here we place the feet in a way that we maximally recruit the quads. Why are we doing the squat and the leg press? You might think, okay, he's working uh, legs on both exercises, but they work differently. So when you're doing the squat, basically it's a full body exercise. Not only the, the legs are working, also the core is involved a lot to stabilize the whole body, okay? Also the hip, so the hip is working a lot, so it's also a way to like train the hip um, and the hip muscles around. And here on the leg press you have um, more recruitment of the legs because the, your back is on the pad. So the back is on the bench. So the core muscles are less engaging here because you don't need to stabilize the body. Also, here, remember, when you did the squats, the legs, the legs were in the extended position, okay? When you started. Here, starting position is different. So you have a 90 degree or even less like this. So um, let's say the quads, are in the shortened position and not in the lengthened position. So it feels different. Also here, I place the feet rather low than high, like this, because the goal is to overload the quads in this workout. So that's why I place the feet rather low than high. Okay, but always make sure that, let's say, the feet is like further than the knee. So because otherwise, if it's in this position, it will hurt on your knee. Just make sure that it's, that it's in line, the knee with the tip of your, uh, of your feet. All right.
grab the barbell from here. First, bring it on the floor, bring it on the floor, and take it from the floor. Yo, these niggas all in a glass case of emotion. Damn, fam, you sit in the last place and I'm coasting. Saucing, I got the potion. Putting women in motion. Get them wet like the ocean. Oh, shit, call me Moses. Oh, my God, oh, my God. If I die, I'm a legend. Yeah, I'm a prophet, a teacher, nigga. School is in session. See, I was stuck at the bottom, homie. That was the... Ooh, ooh, feel it in my hamstrings. <laughs> That's a great exercise. So now we put on some more weight and do another set now. Important here is that you always have a good position of your back. Don't round too much when you're doing it. Otherwise, it affects the, the back too much and it also can create injuries. So always make sure to train with proper form and then when you have a proper form increase the weight still checking in the place still go moving in the way no place no snow straight chilling with my niggas and shiver thinking about south lake thoughts on the river move back nigga move back nigga take jordan as well yes bitch all right guys not done for today still more legs today really high volume today yes so now we are on the leg curl machine to bring further overload onto my hamstring. So I'll show you now how to do that. There are different ways to do that depending on the foot position. So check that out. It was a working set for the leg curl. So here you can play with the foot positioning. Either you do it all the way with flex foot or with extended foot, you can play here. So depending on the foot positioning, you can work the hamstring in a different way. But for, to see more about this or to understand more about this, check out my website marklauterza.com. I will have an online platform very soon where I will explain that in detail how you can play with the foot positioning and how this affects the hamstring recruitment also like showing you different variations of the leg curl exercises so we move on to the next set now flame after flame after flame this ain't no fucking game nigga what the fuck is shame i told you niggas that i kill like rambo never want this shit so now we are not playing with the with the easy bar here, but we're doing step ups. Yo, these niggas all in a glass case of emotion. Damn fam, you sit in and last with um, the easy bar on my back. So the goal here is to work on the VMO. So the VMO is the vastus medialis here of the quads. So this is important for your knee that you have a strong VMO because otherwise if your VMO is weak, what happens is when you do a squat for example that your knee does this, it drops in and if this part is strong it creates outward intention so that you have a good or let's say that the knee is stabilized throughout the whole squat so that's why we do the step ups here as a finisher for legs afterwards we do the calves when you are in this position, so the leg that is on the ground or the foot that is on the ground is just assisting. You don't create momentum here. So don't push yourself from the floor. Always the leg that is on the step is the leading one. And there you should feel the tension right here. All right. I need 50 rest a week. I'm gonna feed the whole team. I've been thinking about the limelight since a boy used to be a dream. I found my way, I can't be low key. Hold up. Yeah, you better hey, ask about me. I've been waiting for the limelight. <coughs> <coughs> Woo. Oh, that's for. Now we're done for legs. Ooh, coughs to go. Then we're done with this crazy leg session today. Woo. We've been all on that rap shit. Like the audience still clap shit, my nigga. 
So this is an old school cough machine. It's a donkey cough race machine from Jim 88. So this machine has history. So and I really like it. It's a really cool machine. So as you can see now, when we start here, my legs are in the extended position. Afterwards we'll be doing the seated calf race where my legs are in the shortened, shortened position. So like I said, um, the standing or, or this machine works a different part of the calf muscles in comparison to the seated one. So we start off now with legs in the extended position and lift, lift off. Okay, so start here. Make sure to have full range of motion, so that means fully flex the foot and fully extend the foot. Flex and extend. Technique first and then the weight. We've been all on that rap shit, like the audience still clap shit, my nigga. This be from Venice and it's all good. my women with me black like Now we'll be doing this, the, the seated calf race and the standing uh, calf race or let's say where your legs are extended and where your legs are in a 90 degree angle so why doing two calf exercises well those two exercises work different muscles so here the calves basically it has three muscles it has a muscle that is underneath the two heads here so we have two heads here. I don't go into detail now with the Latin names, it should be easy to understand. So basically the seated one works the lower, the lower calf muscle and the standing one works the more su superficial uh, muscles of the calf. So today we started with the standing one or with the one where your legs are in the extended position and now we move on to the seated calf race all right Venice and it's all good all my women with me black like I'm dog all these pills that I've been taking made me feel the same so here important is that when you flex it let's see okay so now you go down and all the way up and fully flex the calves so fully extended here to have the maximum recruitment okay up 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 all right so this is the seated calf race machine so as you can see here i could go much heavier but i don't do that because like i said aesthetics i have pretty big calves and i don't want them to grow further so here, my goal, my personal goal is just to keep the size and not further create hypertrophy. That's why I stick to a rather low weight and do more reps instead. All right. All right, guys, that was it. Quick wrap up of this crazy leg session. So the goal of today was to increase the volume. That means to do more sets in a whole leg workout. So I really squeezed the legs today. So I really went hard on them harder than normally and I must say I felt great during this leg workout so it took way longer until I get sore don't get me wrong I am sore now <laughs> but normally if I compare it now to my former lifestyle as a meat eater I must say I got sore much more soon than today in terms of strength I don't feel any difference now not you know in terms of having more strength or less strength is more or less the same so yeah I must say this was a great leg session and now of course I'm taking care of my post-workout nutrition and also now this is changing since I'm having a vegan diet now so what I have in here is from my protein we have the maltodextrin which is a mix of carbohydrates that act fast or slow and then also like 
something in between. So you have like fast acting carbs, medium acting carbs, and you know carbs that take longer to digest. Exactly. And some amino acids and a mix of rice protein and hemp protein to have different sources of proteins so that you mix up the amino acid profile in order that your body can absorb more of the amino acids that come from the protein as well as a banana so the banana is important because of the potassium I like to have some potassium after the workout that's why I take a banana and also here I'm having a bit more carbs because I went harder on the leg, so it was an intense leg session today um, and that's why I also increased the carbohydrate intake right after training. Alright, so I will do a video how I feel the day after as well. So now everything is good. I'm really curious to see how I recover from this crazy and hard leg session. So make sure to subscribe on my channel, like the video, comment on it and share it in between your friends. Thanks so much for supporting me guys on this vegan journey. Out.